Wyatt wanted to see everyone smile. He loved his mom. He loved animals on their farm. He really loved being a big brother. His dad is a lieutenant with the Whitfield County Sheriff's Office, and they would send videos to each other when he was on duty. Daddy, I hear you. Spoiler past my bedtime. Wyatt wore a superhero cape when he held hands with his dad in uniform. Hey, little buddy. It's about your bedtime. I love you so much, man. His dad was his superhero, but Wyatt, he was his family's sunshine. He was their big helper who waved at strangers in the grocery store. My buddy, my best friend, Lieutenant Wes Gibson wrote in the hours after he lost his son. Wyatt was the most joyful, happy. He loved everything, everybody. <laughs> he, he was my little boy's best friend. Wyatt's godmother, Amanda Summy, always saw him smiling. She shared this picture after a long day on the lake where she says it's clear her son is ready to go to sleep, but Wyatt's smile is still shining. He loved everything outside, horses, dogs, trees, flowers. It is, un it is unbelievable. I still feel like I'm just gonna wake up and this is all a nightmare. Like it's, it does not feel real. It, it can't be real. Earlier this month, Wyatt's family thought he had food poisoning. He was sleepy and threw up some, but then his family says his tongue turned white and they brought him to Children's Hospital in Chattanooga, where he was diagnosed with strep throat, a staph infection, and COVID-19. She said, no, it was just a regular COVID test. So, I mean, we don't even know if it was the new strain or not. According to the Department of Health, only three other children in Georgia under the age of 10 have died from COVID-19. His family says they know his case is rare. It's far outside the norm, but that does nothing to take away their pain. I wish I was there. I miss you, buddy. But I love you. Hope you have sweet dreams. Get some good rest, okay? Amanda says Wyatt's family has not started planning his memorial yet because it's just too overwhelming right now. Plus, they're all in quarantine for COVID-19 for the next week and a half. Tonight at 6, what we know about COVID in kids, especially in cases of the Delta variant now rising. It's just heartbreaking to hear all of that, Caitlin. And just in Wyatt's five years on this earth, he managed to touch so many people. We'll see you at 6. Thank you, Caitlin.